Well, first pitch swinging, and Simeon sends it deep out to left center. It is gone! And there's a good start to the afternoon. Today at long last, the Rangers score first. Sixth of the year for Marcus Simeon. Third leadoff home run this season, yeah. Marcus Simeon. 27 on his career. Yeah. That, that body is a well-oiled machine for Bartolo. Fly ball to center, and this one is going to go way out of here. Kyle McCann gets his second extra base hit of the game and drives himself in with, with his third home run of the year, now 15 to 5. This ball was stepped on. Just absolutely blasted. Might be the best day we've seen this year for the ball to travel as Andy Ibanez sends this out to left field, way back there, and again gone. Before you can even grab a drink, the Tigers have a one nothing lead. Well, we talked about Logan Allen giving up home runs, giving up a lot of hard contact. Well, there's some hard contact there off the bat. Seth Brown, a charge to left center field. Duran going back at the track, at the wall, it's gone. He needed that one, and now it's 15 to 8. A three run shot for Seth Brown the other way. His third home run of the year gets RBIs 7, 8, and nine. Ibanez taking his lead off a third, a walking lead down the line. Ibanez in the air, right field. Brennan back at the track again. Andy Ibanez, two for two in the home run department. Wow. How about Ibanez going to the pool side? Ingers says, okay, well, the next time you want to stay away, I'll go Apo Taco. The most Are you kidding me? Dude, he is the most reliable AI we have. <laughs> Right field, deep, down the line, and gone! Oh my, it stayed fair, just inside the pole. A two out, two run homer for Josh Naylor. And the Guardians take the lead. Home run number nine for Nails. He never left home plate. <laughs> I, know, I think he knew it was gonna stay true. He wanted to see how far it was gonna go, to be honest with you. That ball's drilled. Tucker watches this one go. Second deck shot. One away for Tuck to start the road trip. Home run number 10 on the season. And King Tuck gives the Astros a 1 0 lead. Tucker connects on a solo home run. He is now tied for the American League lead in home run. And that one is hit deep to right field. Forget about it. A two run home run for Cody Clemens. He's homered it back to back big league games. And the Phillies lead it three to nothing. It's only the second home run that Barrios has given up against the left-handed batter in the fifth overall. Not a bad changeup. It was almost like he was sitting on it. He didn't get fooled. He just barreled that baby up, hit it well into the seats in right. Three two. Drill to right field and deep. Going back, Tucker turning, looking, see ya. Three one Yankees. A three run blast off Verlander. And the Yankees jump in front of the bottom of the first inning. That's quite an answer there. He just turned on it. No doubt about it. Big three run homer. It's fifth of the year. And a high shot deep into left. That baby's got a chance. It's gone. Home run. Randy Arozarena with that deep count. Hits his sixth home run of the year. 363 feet. It pays to see a lot of pitches. Yes, it does. And then finally get a hanger. Rosarena fell behind. Battle ran a deep count and hit one out. It's paid off as a first round pick. Kevin Pilar swings and drills one deep to left. This one going a long way, and it's a three run homer for Kevin Pilar to give the Angels a three nothing lead. Well, this is a perfect swing here now for Pilar. It's ran back in. A sinker was supposed to be away. See the two seams grip inside and brings his hands in and lifts that baseball out. Boy, Pilar jumped all over that sinker and another home run allowed by Priester this year. I fly out to left field. It sends Kirloff looking out of room. Mitch Hanniger, how about a second deck bomb? One nothing Mariners on an absolute moonshot by Mitch Hanniger.
High fly ball toward right center. Look at that ball carry to the warning track and wall. It's gone. It's a leadoff homer for Brendan Donovan. The Cardinals were looking for some pop. They get it from their number one hitter. They get a change up up in the zone thigh high and Brendan Donovan does not miss it. His fourth home run of the year his second career leadoff home run gets the birds on the board. And a drive out towards deep left center. Isbell on the move. Running out of room, and Hoskins has gone deep. Number seven for Reese. Well, how about Reese putting the Brewers on the board right there? He puts a charge into this one. First pitch of the at bat. That's his first home run in the last eight ball games. He was due for one. And he drives from the left center. That one's got a shot. The Brewers have gone back to back. Joey Ortiz, his second big league homer. Sweeper, middle, middle, and Ortiz obliterated it. Well, they are not intimidated by Seth Lugo, are they, whatsoever? They are taking some really comfortable at bats and some great swings against one of the best pitchers in the big league so far in terms of ERA. No, this ball is given a ride by Kelnick to right, and it's gone! Jared Kelnick with his first homer in a Braves uniform, and it puts Atlanta on top two to nothing. Now how good is that to see here for Jared Kelnick? This has been maybe Kevin Seitzer's favorite kind of player slash project to be able to dig into. Last year he got off to an amazing start, started to struggle, got hurt, and he's been in the ball pretty well, but kind of waiting for that first bomb, and it's nice to get it here at home. And Hello. a high fly ball to deep right field. Springer's going back toward the wall. Grand slam, Bryce Harper. Second grand slam this year. It's the eighth of his career, and it just had enough. You can just tell that Bryce was locked in. You know, that's why he's one of the great ones. To get the bases loaded after Witt strikes out to make it two outs and then the slam. And there's a shot high and deep to left. That baby is going to go. Home run to left by Parade. That's number eight on the ninth pitch of the at bat. Paredes unloads and the Rays now lead five nothing. Paredes continues to swing a good bat. And Corbin gets it in the air. Deep left center. Corbin Carroll. And that ball is off the wall. Or did it go? It's gone. Corbin Carroll, a home run. He's back in Cincinnati, and it's 5-0. I love seeing that. This is almost the same pitch that he just fouled off, the one before. 96-mile-an-hour fastball up in the zone, and he's able to get the barrel to it, stays on top of this, but what a huge three-run homer. Marte gets a hold of one. Cattell Marte bangs it out to center. And there's another one. They go back to back. The Diamondbacks bats wake up in Cincinnati and it's six to nothing. We talk about a ball that was blistered right here. You see Marte with a setup. There's that pitch, tries to come over the middle part of the plate, leaves it out over the outer part of the plate. Marte does not miss that ball into the bullpen. Volpe hits one deep to right. He's been going deep that way. Does he get enough? Yes, he does. See ya. A two-run home run. Two-run blast for Volpe, and the Yankees are lighting up Verlander. It's a 6-1 Yankee lead in the fourth. And for Anthony Volpe, homer number four, 354 feet, went out at 99.6. Oh, here's Ryan Jeffers with two outs. Jeffers a swing and a drive. Left field and deep. Back it goes and gone. Second deck and then some for Ryan Jeffers. A three-run homer, one swing of the bat. The Twins surge in front here at Target Field. Well, there's a reason that guy's leading the American League in slugging. He gets his pitch and he does not miss it. O2 hammered out to left, going back. Get out! Paul DeYoung with his fourth home run of the season. And the White Sox are on the board here in the seventh. Four and eight on the power numbers. And it's a four-run lead for the Rays. This is a curveball that doesn't do a whole lot. And Paul, who hit the ball hard the last time, takes this one out. Three, two. Drill right field. That one way back. That one is gone. A line drive homer, a belly bomb. Welcome back. And it is.
is 1-0. Yeah, another 3-2 count. Belt high fastball that he jumped all over. It started in and it went over the middle of the plate. Center field. Carroll back. At the wall. Gone! India's second of the season, and the Reds on the board. It's a great sign. Anytime Jonathan India is hitting the ball up the middle the other way, and you can see a slider that did absolutely nothing but stay right there. Pulled his hands in, got the bat head to the ball, plenty of power. Corbin Carroll almost made a play on that ball. There's a fly ball out toward left field again. Kevin Pilar sends Reynolds to the wall. It's gone. Two home runs for Pilar. He's driven in five, and the Angels are up seven to nothing. What a game for Pilar tonight. Five stakes, a couple home runs. I might run down and give him a hug. <laughs> 102 off the bat for Pilar. Home run halo fits for Pilar. Fits so nice, he's got it twice. Delivers to Giancarlo Stanton, who drives it into left center field. Stanton got a chance. Left center field wall and gone. Goodbye. Oh, it's a Stanton laser into the left center field bullpen. And the Yankees are teeing off Verlander. It's a 7-1 lead in the fifth. Boy, that went 421 feet. That was his seventh home run of the season. 118 miles an hour off the bat. Wow. Nimmo on Corks one to deep center field. Back goes Ciani at the wall. It's out of here. Brandon Nimmo strikes again. A three-run homer to tie the game. The go-ahead home run last night. The tying home run tonight. Number five for Nimmo, and it's three to three. 440 feet to dead center field. Crushed it, and this is a bomb. Wow, that went way up. Comes the 2-0. Stevenson swings, and he barrels this one to left center field. It is well hit. It is deep, and it is gone into the Reds' bullpen. Well, Tyler hit one earlier in the game back in the fourth. It barely got the warning track. It looked like it was launched. This one does get out of here. Comes the Reds' bullpen for a solo home run. For Stevenson, that's his fourth home run of the year. Hit high in the air by Burleson. That's down the line, deep right. Marte into the corner, turns, and that one sails out. Burleson brings the Cardinals a run closer. It's now 6-4. to four. That's his third homer of the year. And his second against the Mets. Look at Burley getting into the action, getting into that changeup. Towards left center field, that ball is back, and it is off the top it's gone a two run home run the indication from the umpire Chad Whitson it's out of the yard came back in the yard but it's a two run home run for Profar Padres take the lead in the eight here's the payoff a high rising drive this is blasted out of here watch out all the way up top Cal Raleigh with a go ahead seventh inning grand slam Fix that chart now. Fly ball, left field. It is back, it is gone! A three run go ahead home run for Willie Adamas. What a shot in the arm for the Brew Crew. Willie Adamas with the biggest swing of the year for him. A three, one, three run blast to left field. We're just talking about the pitch selection to walk Gary Sanchez through a slider 3 1, walked him. The go ahead run comes to the plate. Willie Ad Adamas capitalizes, and the Brewers have a one run lead. This team is fighting. In that top spot. First pitch swing and Jazz with a high fly ball. Deep right center field, and the Marlins are on the board first. Wasting no time. Didn't we uh, say about the stars coming out in, in Hollywood? Get me over fastball, 95. That was crushed. Skip talked about it before the game today, knowing that Jazz likes playing on a big stage like Los Angeles, 1-0. Well, he jumped all over that first. Michael Bush leads off the bottom of the ninth inning. Here's the pitch. A swing and a drive. Deep right center. It's got a chance. Cubs win the ball game. Michael Bush, a game-winning home run. Listen to this crowd. 
Michael Bush sits on a breaking ball and whacks it into the right center field bleachers for a winner. All of the Cubs celebrating. Michael Bush, the rookie first baseman, clobbering one over the 368 sign way up into the seats. And Alonzo drives one deep left field, headed back toward the wall. It's out of here. Pete Alonzo with a line drive home run, his ninth of the year. And the Mets get some insurance, and Pete caps a big night. His second extra base hit, his third RBI to break out of the doldrums, and the Mets now lead it 7 to 4. 2 2 pitch. Swing and a fly ball, rocketed toward deep center. That ball's going to carry out of here. Newbar with a solo home run. Well, have yourself a day, Lars Newbar. The three walks, the patience, and then waits back on the sweeper. Hits his second home run of the year. Cracked the other way. Gordon's going back. This ball's got a chance. It's a grand slam. Once his ninth home run of the year goes to the opposite field, something that he'd only done three times the last two years. He's done twice on his homestand. He gets a hard pitch away, and he stays right on it. That was great planning by the Dodgers. Small sample size, big fly ball, way back to right field, and gone! Gavin Lux with a two-run home run, his first of the year. The sack fly from Pajas was the first run the Dodgers have scored without a home run in a long time. Well, Gavin Lux, it didn't last very long. A couple pitches later, they scored two more via the home run. Brian De La Cruz, line drive, left field, and it's got the height to get out. Solo home run, DLC. Makes it 8-2. to two. Well, When it's high, let it fly, and that's what happened with that pitch right there. It was a splitter up in the zone. And you see this hanging splitter. Really didn't have that depth. Tried to throw it for a strike. Came right into the power slot of De La Cruz. Fly ball, left field. It is back, it is gone! A three-run go-ahead home run for Willie Adamas. What a shot in the arm for the Brew Crew. Willie Adamas with the biggest swing of the year for him. A three-run three blast to left field. We're just talking about the pitch selection to walk Gary Sanchez through a slider. 3-1, walked him. The go-ahead run comes to the plate. Willie Adamas capitalizes, and the Brewers have a one-run lead. This team is fired up. What a swing.